what's up guys, Togu here and welcome back to another episode of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we got the new hand powers that we can use when we are the bro in back. Like the bros field versions of the hand powers. Let's start this battle off quickly with a video. Alright, that was dumb. I just said we were gonna start the battle off quickly with a video. So that's how these guys attack when they're bloated. It's very awkward timing. Now, the mecha blooper, that's what this guy is, will shoot his bullet bills at you. Uh, yeah, mecha blooper. Now, this should kill that, yep. Now, these guys conveniently are very weak to thunder, as you see. However, that will cause them... Actually, I don't know if it's just hitting them or if it's thunder causes them to counterattack. When they run out of bullet bills, they will get more, and I can't even tell because I killed it. Uh, well, hopefully there will be a mecha blooper in this battle. Probably will. Yep. So let's see. Ah, no, they just counter. Or not counter-attack, but, like, they will react by firing. No, dang it, I, I mean, whatever, I killed it in one shot, but I meant to switch to Thunder Hand there. Yeah, so you can land on these, it's not like you'll fall through them and take damage and they won't get knocked back into battle. Whether you- dang it! Whether you miss them or hit them, it doesn't matter. They're going to- yes, I believe they're resistant to hammer. It kind of seems like it, I don't know. So what I was just trying to say there, geez, if I can get my words out, is whether you hit them, like whether you land on the bullet bills, jump over them, I don't even know if you can jump over them, or get hit by them, they will not join the battle as enemies. You don't have to worry about that. It's not like the beans in the queen bean fight. Alright, where are you shooting this? To Mario? Dang it. Why? I don't know why I screwed that up. I mean, I do know why I screwed that up, I just don't know why I did what I did, which was just randomly pulling out the hammer, which is what caused me to get hit there. Anyway, so as we learned in the last episode, towards the very end, you can spin jump in these to get shot up to the surface. Or not the surface, uh, just higher elevations than you can reach by regular jumping. And I think what I'm going to do here is that will come. Since it's hittable by the hammer, that means it's on the floor, so I'm going to go for the Thunder Bros here. Which again is just B, B, and. Wow, I screwed that up. Dang it. Oh well. It's a waste of BP, but then again, I have so much BP, it's not like it really matters that much. It's just a shame that mm, since Luigi has less BP and his attack costs more, uh, since it costs 4 at level 3 instead of 3, he will run out much faster. Now I wonder if these guys are actually weak to any element. As you see there, they have defense down, that's what the square means. So that is an effect that... Jeez, that was a lucky, not a uh, critical. So, as you can see, the thunder uh, bruise attack is very helpful for that. Now, I'm not sure if we're supposed to actually head up or down. Okay, down is just like the side path where you can get a super mushroom, a who bean, awesome, and some money. Now, I don't think there's, yeah, there's no hidden blocks or beans here, right? Yeah, okay, so we're good. There's nothing hidden in the first underwater segment. Spoilers, there is a second one. I don't even know if there is a third one, but I know for sure there's a second. So, how many hoobings is that? Because, seven. I know there's... Yeah, there are, so we will be able to hit 10 by the end of Guarhar Lagoon because there's at least four more Who Beans here that I know of. And since we only need three, we're well more than good. So once we get that, we will be able to make the final uh, cup of coffee, which means we'll get the last of the special equipment items. And the last one is extremely helpful. In my opinion, the first two are really the only good ones out of the first six. Because really, double experience and double money just makes the game easier. As you see here, the purple sections are underwater. So yeah, there's a second underwater segment, but it's quite a ways away. I doubt we will get to it in this episode. As I said, the Guarhar Lagoon is a pretty big place. It takes a couple, it will take a couple of episodes to get completely through. 
So here now, uh, I believe we need to use Thunderhand. I mean, I can't see what's down here. Yeah, okay. So otherwise, they'd be moving a lot faster. So yeah, see like this. This is where you have to use the Fire Brand. And these are actually pretty difficult at time, at least in my opinion. There we go. Oh, great, these guys. Uh, there are more new enemies in the Guaha Lagoon, and there's actually one enemy that's one of my favorite enemies. Oh, thank you for that. That was so nice. As you can see there, there's the next bean. There is an enemy type here that we have yet to encounter that is one of my favorite enemy types in this game. Honestly, they're just... It's a very cool concept for an enemy. I have no clue who this is. Alright, it was Mario. I should probably be using the bros attacks because... Oh wow, Mario got to level 31. Because I still have quite a ways to go to get them all to the advanced band, and I would like to show that. I think I'll upgrade Mario's power since I never do. And I got a 5! Oh my gosh, amazing. And Luigi hits level 31 as well. The, uh... What is it? The Cobalt Necktie? Is that what gives the boosted experience for not taking damage? That's awesome. Dang it, just barely missed a 5 and got a 2, but at least it wasn't a 1. Nope. There we go. Alright, so let's grab that Chuckle Bean. Up there you can see there is a Boo statue that we're going to... Actually, I don't even know if we need to hit that or if that's just like to create a shortcut back. Oh, great. Of course, in this game, if it if it even hits the uh, Rowan back from the front, it counts as them getting a first strike, whereas I think in later games, it's just if it hits the Rowan back from the back. However, you can get for, you, they can get a first strike on you if you hit the Rowan front from the back. I don't know, it's weird. I mean, it's not weird, it's just hard to explain. Uh, if he brings them back again, which he can, yeah, he did. Alright, I'm going to use a bro, some bros attacks, because this is ridiculous. Uh, let's see, how does fire bros do against these guys? Uh, there's really... No, very poorly. I think these guys are extremely resistant to magic, so... Whatever. I mean, at least I still got the action command, as we saw before with the thunder hand. Power. What is it even called? Thunder Bros. It's Thunder Bros and Fire Bros. I don't know why I'm getting complicated with this. They barely take any damage from it. At least now I can do this, which should KO him. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize it would bounce back. And there we go. That was easy enough. No double experience, though. Let me check. I want to know. Is that the Cobalt Necktie? No, Bonus Ring. Cobalt... What is Cobalt Necktie? Oh, Cobalt Necktie is double stash points. That's that's worth it when you're going to the store to buy stuff, but honestly, with the Greed Wallet, like, you can have so much money, more money than you know what to do with. So it's not even worth it. So here we have a lot of these guys. Something I'm actually wondering is what will happen if you first strike an enemy with uh, Firebrand or Thunderhand. I'm not really sure. Now, here we have a new enemy. Boomerang bro, these are not the ones I was talking about that I think are like one of the coolest enemies. I'm pretty sure they're weak to fire. Let's test that. Uh, no, they're healed by fire, so I guess they're weak to thunder. So I'm gonna go for thunder bros, because I need to really get these uh, advanced commands. Or maybe they're, uh, maybe they're not weak to thunder, but I can't remember, honestly, if... Uh, criticals are taken into account with the bros attacks versions. So when he glints in the left eye, he's going for Mario and then Luigi with the boomerang. Thankfully they all have uh, defense down now. And lucky 88, yeah that's incredible. Alright, let's see how much this does. Uh, no, just regular. So they're just healed by fire, but they're not weak to thunder. So that's another successful execution of Thunder Bros. And as you saw there, we got an Ultra Mushroom for that. That's our first Ultra Mushroom. It heals 120 HP, so it's a lot more than a Super Mushroom. But honestly, like, by the end of the game, we're probably not even going to need Ultra Mushrooms, how much they heal. Come on, come here, come here. Come here. Get over here. All right, come on, let's get a bit closer. Oh, dang it. I don't even know if you can first strike enemies with that. Uh, 
If he's healed by fire, I don't want to use fire bros on him, so I'll just hammer one of these guys. I will go for thunder bros since I have so much. No, I went for hand. That's not what I meant. Whatever. I have so much BP and I really want to get the action commands and I don't really feel like doing a lot of grinding off screen though that is that is what I'll end up having to do. Now I don't know if you can land on that, like what'll happen. Now of course you can just jump on these guys, so. Though he seems to take more damage from thunder than he was from the jumping. Still can't break these, uh, you can try ramming into them but it's not like you need HMO4, or I'm uh, sorry. I guess it, I don't know, would it be HMO6? Is it str would Strength the Rock Smash be helpful? Anyway, the point is you can't get over there, and you see there's just one side room that we cannot get to. So that's to be explored later. Now here we have Guaha Lagoon Mysterious Items Part 2. Spin blocks. Well, if you hit these blocks while spinning around, they'll go flying off in the direction you're moving. If they get stuck or disappear, just leave the air and return. So yeah, these are just, if you spin jump into them, you can push them in a direction. Now what is nice is you can high jump onto them, and then from there, you can get up here. Now, I think it was kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I don't even know what word I'm looking for. Shoddy, maybe? It was weird. I don't think, like, it was kind of weird how I was able to high jump up from there, but whatever. Uh, anyway, heading into here, we have a rally block. I think that's all that's in this room. Uh, oh, this is, okay, so this is a special one, but to start off we have a rally block, so I'll fast forward through this. Well, as you saw there, I got 57 on the second one and 36 on the third. I can't remember what I got on the first. So that just goes to show I used to be much better at these than I am now, and I think now with some practice, I've been getting the hang of it again. So anyway, there's a save album right there that we can't get to just yet, and then there's this like little bridge thing. I always liked this. This is such a cool thing, how they just put like a nice little shadow here. You can't really do anything with it, but I always thought it was nice. Now, when we save, we'll be able to see what this area is called. I think it's called the Cross Beach. Now, we're going to head to the left first, uh, right, I think. I don't know. All right, we're going we're gonna to go this way first. Nope, nope, dang it. I wanted to try getting off a of first attack with that. First strike, not first attack. But whatever. And, of course, Lucky 86. Pointless. And Mario's taking damage. Now, I didn't see. Did he have the glint in his right eye? I wasn't really looking there. Maybe it's if it's left eye, it's Mario, then Luigi. If it's right eye, it's... Huh, I don't know. I guess the eye just tells who it's going for first, and then it can either be jump with both bros or don't jump and then jump with that bro. I have no clue what the tell is for these. These are boomerang bros, I think they're called. I can't believe I already forgot the name. 
Oh, come on, come on. Come here. Oh my god. I guess they just won't charge you if you're, uh, if you're charging up the fire brand. Probably the same with Thunderhand. Alright, who are you going for? Luigi? Anyway, what was I saying? All right, that's going for Luigi first this time. And the timing is completely different on how long you have to wait, just like with every enemy in this game that goes for either Luigi or Mario. Uh, especially the dry bones I'm thinking of on... Uh, is it Hoo Hoo Mountain? Yeah, I think it's Hoo Hoo Mountain. These are Boomerang Bros, right? Yeah, okay, so they have a much different design, much closer to the Hammer Bros in other games. Though, uh, we will see Hammer Bros in this game, and they do kind of look similar to how they portray the Boomerang Bros, I guess, in terms of style. We also saw the Yo Bros much earlier in the game in the Woo Hoo Hoo University. And that's just a mouthful to say. Woo Hoo Hoo University. Uh, come on. Aren't you gonna die? Alright, there we go. And you should die to a counterattack. Yep, there we go. Flawless battle. And nothing down here. I feel like I was saying something about heading, like, which direction from the beach. For some reason, I feel like usually I go right because that way kind of loops around, but I'm not really sure. So I don't know. I think my, uh, the list of beans I have that I'm using it starts with going to the left, so that's the way I'm going to go, I guess, just to make it easier on myself for telling which beans I have and have not gotten. I should probably heal up, but first let's get a level up on Mario, and let's go ahead and boost his defense. Aw, oh, man, 5-3, five, 5-3, three, five, three, and I end up with a 3. But Luigi also gets a level up, let's see what his stats are like. Alright, not too shabby, and I will increase his HP. Oh, come on, so many fives were there and I got a two. That's a bummer. Anyway, if we check this map, so yeah, see, you head to the right, it's a much shorter area. So I think I actually am going to go back and head to the right, even though to the left we do get to this underwater segment. Actually... Well, see, there's there's really three parts to this. There's this left underwater segment, this lower segment, and then this right segment. So I, I guess I'll just follow the list of beans I have. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we have an underwater segment, this long room segment, and then this upper segment. That's a couple rooms. So this area isn't actually too big once it's broken down to chunks. But anyway, we will continue on exploring in the next episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Alright, so stick around and I will see you guys next time.